Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Our practice today is a memory verse flow, so we will be connecting scripture with the Word of God. And our memory verse today is from Paul's letter to the Church of Ephesus. His reminder to be kind. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. How are you doing in that? How kind have you been lately? How easily do you forgive? This gentle reminder that God forgives us everything as we repent. You are forgiven. And as such, sometimes harder, sometimes easier. Out of that overflow, we forgive others. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And begin to draw breath down the body. A three-part breath filling lungs, rib cage, and diaphragm. Exhaling up the body. And continue here. Let go of the world around you, the day behind you, the night ahead. Draw your attention inward. Feel the breath moving through the body. Open your heart up to the kindness and compassion that can come only from the Holy Spirit flowing through you. Be kind and compassionate to one another. The forgiveness that flows out of his love for us. Forgiving each other as in Christ Jesus, God forgave you. On the next inhale, arms rise up and overhead. Palms come together and as you exhale, gentle twist to the right. Palms come together and down. Inhale, arms rise. Exhaling, twist to the left. So continue here, connecting breath and movement. Inhaling as the arms rise. Exhaling into those twists. And connecting the scripture verse. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other as in Christ Jesus, God forgave you. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale into the twist. One more time, and we're just going to hold the twist a little longer in this time. So arms rise and Find as much length as you can in the spine, and then starting at the base of the spine, working up, find your twist. And create a little traction as the hand presses against the leg, as the shoulders drop. Can the navel drop in? Rib cage settle. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. And to the other side, inhaling, rise up, find length in that spine, stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale, finding your twist on this side. How does this twist feel compared to the other side? One more breath here, inhaling a little more length into the spine. As you exhale, the body wraps around. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Finding the verse with me. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, as in Christ God forgave you. If you are up on a block, come off of it, keep it with you, extend your legs forward, 
and bring that block underneath your legs. So depending on the flexibility of the hamstrings, maybe that block is a little higher, maybe it is flat. Find your sitting bones again. Flex your feet and activate the legs. Raise the arms up, finding staff pose. So settle into those sitting bones. Can you feel the pelvic floor lift up? Can you draw the navel in? Can you feel a little bit of strength right at the top of the collarbone there, right at the base of the throat? From here, hinge forward and let the hands just softly come down to the legs. Inhale, find a little more length in the spine. Exhale, just notice where you go. It's so early in your practice today. What feels comfortable? What feels uncomfortable? Is this more about the hamstrings or the hips or the back? Find breath. Inhale, arms rising. Gently find a twist over to the right. So that right arm is gonna, left arm is gonna come back, right arm's gonna come back, left arm's gonna come across. Go ahead and bend that leg a little bit more. Can you activate the straighter leg, really pressing through that heel, heel pressing into the mat? And release. Bend both legs. Hands to the shins, come into cat, tucking your chin. Inhale, come into cow. Twice more here, cat to cow. Exploring mobility in the back. One more time. Release. Legs come straight again. So again, still supported on that block. Arms rise into staff. Find the sitting bones. Maybe walk those hips back just a little bit. Engage through the pelvic floor, the abdominals, right at the base of the throat. Hinge forward and let the arms come down to the legs. Find your breath here. One more breath here. Inhale all the way up. You're going to cartwheel that left arm back. Bring that right arm across and bend that left leg. Hand comes to the outside of the leg, arm to the outside of the leg as you find your twist. So one more time each way. Find cat and cow. Exhale into cat, inhale into cow. Once more. Extend the legs long, flex the feet, press the heels forward, draw the sitting bones back, arms rise into staff. Create the strongest staff pose that you can. Can those shoulder blades glide down the back? Maybe the shoulder blades can get a little wider. Hinge forward and let the hands come down to the legs. As you breathe in, find a little more length in the spine. Imagine the inner thighs drawing in towards each other. Gently press into the hands and rise up. Come back into that staff pose. Go ahead and bend that right leg as you twist across that left arm coming across, finding a little bit of traction. Can you sit up straight without leaning forward or back? And again, arm rises high. Exhale, forward fold. Long spine right now. Rib cage maybe touching the thighs. Inhale, rise up. Find staff pose. Again, draw the pelvis, the pelvic floor up as the sitting bones rest heavy on the mat. Navel into the spine and up. Rib cage draws down softly. Cartwheel into the twist. Raise that left knee. 
And you keep that right leg activated, the heel pushing away from the body. Can you sit up a little straighter? Release. Bend your knees, hands to the front. Find cat, find cow, move that block. Add the scripture verse in. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. One more time, cat to cow. As you're ready, relax. Go ahead and cross your ankles, come forward. Come into table pose, so knees are going to be underneath the hips. Fingers spread wide, top of the head, crown of the head reaching forward as the hip creases reach back. And as you find the strength here, can you also find the release, maybe softening the muscles of the face or the jaw, bringing the tongue to the bottom of the mouth, find cat and cow here. How are the sensations different with this gravitational pull of, with this gravitational orientation? With the shift in gravity. Cat to cow one more time, adding the verse in. With cat, be kind and compassionate to one another. And with cow, forgiving each other just as in Christ. Jesus, God forgave you. All right. Go ahead and bring those hands, one hand print forward, come down to your knees. Kneeling plank, come all the way down to the mat, find sphinx pose as those forearms go wide. Come in and out of sphinx a couple of times, just kind of working through the upper back and warming it up. And settle into sphinx and press into the forearms and the feet. Draw the belly in, shoulder blades wide. Exhaling, hands come back to the rib cage, come up through table. Curl the toes under and meet me in your first downward facing dog. So rib cage to thighs, knees are bent, shake your head out no and yes. Begin to pedal through your feet. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, heels draw down. On the next inhale, right leg rises up to the sky. Draw the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through. Add those blocks and props if that helps. Go ahead and drop that back knee down and up. And then keeping that back leg up, bringing props to the either side of the foot if that's better for you, begin to straighten and bend the front leg. Again, just exploring the hamstring stretch, lots of stretches for the hamstrings tonight. Find the stretch that's right for you. So effort with ease, a little tension in that hamstring, but no strain. Toes are pointing forward. Shake your head out, no and yes. Say the verse. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. As you're ready, release, meet me in a lunge, hands to either side of the leg, bring that foot back, just float it back and find plank. And from plank, find your way down to the mat, however you choose to do that. Kneeling plank or grasshopper, sphinx or low cobra, even chaturanga or upward facing dog. Coming through table, meet me in downward facing dog. Check in for a breath. The next inhale, the right leg rises high. 
Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through, back knee drops down and up. And then as you're ready, just raise that thigh to the sky, sink into the hip. And maybe you're using blocks on either side of the foot. Maybe you don't need them. I'm just going to straighten and bend that leg. And as you're ready, find the stretch on this side. Just notice where it is tonight. Look back at that back foot. Are the toes facing forward? Take your head out now. And yes. As you're ready, lunge that leg forward. Bring the back foot up to meet the front. Find me in forward fold here. So rib cage touching thighs. Again, really releasing the tension in the neck. Lift and lower the hips a couple of times. Find the forward fold that's right for you. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down. Push through those feet. Press down with the feet as you rise in the mountain. Hands to heart. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise up. Hold on to your wrist, come over to the side. Stretch and lengthen. First time today we've done this. Stretching the side of the body. Exhale, hands come to the small of the back, right at the base of the spine there. Open up the chest, find a back bend. Inhale, arms rise, go the other direction, pressing down with that right foot as you bring that right wrist over. And come back up to mountain and exhale into forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, meet me in plank. And from plank, come down to the mat and find your back bend. And on that next exhale, curl the toes under and meet me in downward facing dog. Breathing in, right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through. Bring the back foot up halfway. Begin to just rock through your feet. So again, maybe it's better for you to have blocks here. You know, that is always your option. But just stay here for another couple rounds. And then press your feet into the mat. So as you press the feet into the mat, imagine the arch of the foot rising up. Let the back of the head come towards the mat. Nice deep breath in here. One more breath. Draw the gaze forward, lift the hips as that foot, back foot comes up to the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down. Rise all the way up to mountain. Step into that left foot, let that right leg come back and lunge and find your balance. Maybe sink a little bit down into the hips. Maybe bring that front shin a little closer to the front edge of the mat. Back of that leg rises high. Exhaling, pivot into warrior two. Find your peaceful warrior as that back arm comes down, arm comes up. Then come all the way over into that side angle bend and add the scripture verse, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. One more time, peaceful warrior. One more time, side angle bend. Bring those arms out to the side. Pivot into warrior one. Bring hands to heart. Sorry, pivot into lunge. 
bring that left hand to the small of your back, right arm comes across, find a high twist here. Hands to either side of the foot, straighten out that front leg. Bring the knee to the mat, bring the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, find plank, from plank come all the way down to the mat and into your back bend. Meet me in downward facing dog. Find downward facing dog and just notice right and left and is there any difference in the way one side of the body feels compared to the other. And that next inhale, that left leg rises high and comes forward. And the right foot comes up halfway and you begin to roll through your feet. Let the feet settle down to the mat. Find the hamstring stretch that's right for you. So maybe that front leg is very bent because that's just where you are. That's okay. Shake your head out no and yes. Let the back of the head come to the mat. Can you relax the muscles of your face? Gaze comes forward. Hips rise to the sky as that foot comes up. Forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway, exhale down, pushing through the feet, rise all the way up. This time hold on to the right wrist first, come over to the side. Come up and over the other direction. Hands shoulder width apart, reaching for the sky, step into that right foot, left foot comes back, find lunge. Find a strong and steady lunge here. And pivot into warrior two and find that peaceful warrior side angle bend. And three more times here. Or three times total. So one more time now, adding the scripture verse. Be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. Meet me in warrior two and just kind of anchor into it and then pivot into lunge. And that right hand comes to the small of the back as that left arm comes across and find your twist. And as you're ready, release and hands come down to either side of that foot and the front leg straightens and bends. And you find your stretch as the nose comes to the knee and the top of the head comes to the mat. And bring the knee over the ankle and the back foot comes up to meet the front forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down and find your plank. And from your plank, come down to the mat and find your back bend. Are you still leading with breath? Meet me in downward facing dog. As we settle in downward facing dog for a couple of breaths, can you say the scripture verse on your own? One more inhale, one more exhale here. On the next inhale, right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through. Back foot comes up halfway, rock back and forth a couple of times. Find the hamstring stretch that's right for you. Bring the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, pressing through the feet, come all the way up, mountain pose. Be kind and compassionate to one another, hands to heart, 
forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. Stepping into the left foot, bring that right leg back, arms rise as you find your lunge. Pivot into warrior two. That front heel, even with the instep of the back foot, peaceful warrior to side angle bend three times. Move with breath. Say the scripture verse. Be kind and compassionate to each other. Forgiving one another as in Christ God forgave you. Meet me in warrior two and make it a strong warrior two. Those arms resting as if they were on the top of a counter. Maybe that front leg, that shin reaches a little closer to the front edge of the mat. A little extra weight in that back foot. Pivot into lunge. Bring hands to heart and find a twist, this time maybe a low twist, hinging forward at the hips first. And then again, just wrapping the muscles of the obliques around to the spine. Find your twist. Exhale, hands to either side of that foot. Find that humble warrior as that front leg extends a little bit and the head comes down. Bring the front knee over the ankle as the back foot comes up, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale down, meet me in plank. From plank, come down to the mat. Come to the tops of your feet and rise up into that back bend. Meet me in downward facing dog. Settle into downward facing dog, noticing how maybe it is shifting. Feels a little different than when you started. Deep breath in, left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward as that foot comes all the way through. Back foot comes up halfway. Rock back and forth on your feet. And find the hamstring stretch that's right for you. Head heavy, face relaxed. Can you still engage through those abdominals? So draw the belly in. Find that strength at the pelvic floor and the navel and the base of the throat. And press into that front foot and bring that back foot up to meet it. Forward fold. And hands to shins come up halfway and exhale down and pushing through the feet, rise high. Hands to heart. Stepping into the right foot, the left leg comes back this time. Arms rise and lunge. Pivot into warrior two. Drop that back arm as you come all the way back. Peaceful warrior over into side angle bend. Twice more. Adding the scripture verse. Be kind and compassionate to each other. Forgiving one another as in Christ God forgave you. Can you say it on your own? As you're ready, meet me in warrior two. And again, make it a strong warrior two. So those hips are tucked slightly under, dropping towards the mat. Shoulder blades wide, arms heavy on that imaginary counter. And pivot back into lunge. Bring hands to heart. Find the twist that's right for you. Maybe hinging at the hips as you hook that upper arm over the outside of the thigh. Stacking the shoulders, finding breath. As you're ready, hands to either side of the foot, straighten out that leg, come into humble warrior as the back of the head reaches towards the mat. A 
lunge that front knee forward and the back foot comes up to rise to meet the front final forward fold so checking in pressing down with the feet engaging the abdominals just noticing where this is compared to where you started today what feels different What feels the same? Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale down, find plank. And from plank, just drop down to your knees and child to table three times. And stay in table, sorry, stay in child as the forehead comes down. Massage out the forehead. And find breath. And just consider how kind have you been lately? Is there someone you need to forgive? As you're ready, press into your hands and rise up. Go ahead and bring your feet forward. Come down onto your back with that um, knees bent. Just settle here for a moment and just notice the way that you feel, the way that your body is connected to the mat. And then bring the knees in and the feet are off the floor and just circle the knees a few times. And go the other direction. And then just gently bring the knees into the rib cage and back. A few times here, just restoring a neutral position of the spine, a natural arch of the lower back. Extend your legs and bring your arms down to either side, palms up. And settle here in Shavasana. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. All of this flows out of what God has already given us. So in these final moments, feel God's kindness and compassion flow through you. Feel his forgiveness wash over you. Gently bring movement back. If you can stay in Shavasana a little longer, I would invite you to do that. Just rotate fingers and rotate wrists and ankles. And turn your head. And as you're ready, take a deep breath in and stretch long and then bend your knees and roll over onto your side. Pressing into your hands, rise up. Eyes still closed, come to a sitting position. Check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. 
Just remembering where you were when you came to the mat today, noticing where you are now. The next inhale, arms rise up and overhead, palms together, and exhaling, bring hands to heart. Joining me in prayer. Merciful God, we are so thankful for your forgiveness. We are so sorry for all of those times that we fail to forgive others, that we are unkind, that we miss the opportunities to share your compassion. So spirit flow through us that we can love with your heart and that we can forgive easily and well. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.